At the end of this tutorial, I will show you how to model a realistic, non-destructive ladder. In other words, you can not only decide how long this ladder is without completely changing the model using an array modifier, you can also determine how thick the ladder is using a mirror modifier, and then you can use the curve modifier to make it follow any path that you like. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's do a quick tutorial on how to make a non-destructive ladder that's extremely flexible on how you want to moderate, model it. Press X, delete the default cube. Press numpad 1 to be in front. Orthographic view, press shift A, and we are going to use a mesh, not any mesh, but a cylinder. Once you've got a cylinder selected, press G, Z, 1. Now it's on the red line. I'm quite happy with that. Now press S, shift Z to scale this in and type in 0.1. That is perfect. Also, while I'm at it, I might as well make sure that my keystrokes are visible. So there you go. Right click, shade smooth, object data properties, normals, auto smooth at 30. Now that we've got this in place, the next thing we want to do is press GX1. And then we want to press Shift D, X minus 1. R to rotate this while we're in front orthographic view, 90, 90 degrees. Press, and in the middle here is a perfect spot actually. And what we could do is press tab, go into edit mode, press three to choose face select, choose this face only, press numpad one again to be in front of the graphic view, and press G, X, and bring this in until it touches this line here. Let's zoom in and make sure it's close. It doesn't have to be perfect because we can always merge the difference. But uh, make it make it perfect if you want to make it perfect. It's all up to you. There we go. That's looking good to me. Perfect. Press tab, go into object mode. And next thing you want to do is go to your modify properties. This is going to be our canvas. This is going to be our cutter, theoretically. So let's select our canvas. We're going to rename this ladder. And we're going to add a Boolean modifier. We're going to select the other cylinder for it and we're going to click union and just like that we have our ladder piece fully set up next thing we want to do obviously is use the mirror modifier to make it work across the other end but we'll have to press shift a and make use of an empty and let's select our ladder again and this time we will use the empty and just like that our ladder is working on both ends which is great now the next thing we want to do possibly is make use of an array modifier and if we're using an array modifier let's minimize the modifiers we aren't using at this moment um, we want to make sure merge is selected we want to turn off the x to zero and we want to turn up the z to about one there we go that's looking pretty good and obviously with the array modifier you can just increase the count to as many as you like the which I've put on, let's put on 20. And there you go, nice long ladder. Now we can press add a new modifier. And we are going to make use of a curve modifier. But before we do, let's take this, did I shade this smooth? Yes, I did, okay, cool. So we've got a curve modifier here, but before we can use this curve modifier, we have to press Shift A, select the curve, and for the sake of this, I'll use a Bezier curve. I'll rotate it 90 degrees and scale this up. Press numpad 3, press G, and just chuck it somewhere like that. Before I continue, I'm going to press numpad 1. I'm going to select my ladder again. I'm going to right click. Well, I'm going to first press Control A, apply all, and I'm going to right click. Well, where the origin is, is actually perfect. I'll leave it like that. I'm quite happy with that. Now we can uh, use this modifier by using the Bezier curve we just added. Before we apply the curve modifier, I just want to show you what kind of flexibility your ladder has. So we're going to select this original empty that we have here. If you press G and you move this around, you can decide on the thickness. And you can also make the merge stronger so it will even merge at this far away distances. And yeah, it's, it's quite powerful. All right, so now when you add the Bezier curve, let's select the Bezier curve. Find it over, let's find it over here. And let's press S20 to scale that up. 
and currently this is not in the correct place and that's because we just need to change this to minus x and just like that now we have a ladder that curves and moves in any direction we like on top of that our ladder can be as wide as we want it to be based on where we move our other empty which is uh, this over here and we can also determine how, many, how long our ladder is in terms of our array modifier so we can just reduce the account if we wanted to and uh, we could also break the ladder over here but I mean that's not really important uh, the only other modifier I would add to this as a final modifier is a subdivision to give it an extra level of smoothness and we're done I, but you want to make sure when you do let's just go here, yeah, you can see the ladder doesn't look right unless you're going for the style which, which doesn't look good, just use simple there you go, now the ladder looks smooth. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.